Someone had a question about uh, what do you do if you have an arrhythmia after you break a fast with a meal? So let's talk about that. So an arrhythmia is an abnormal heartbeat. It could be a palpitation, could be a skip beat. And of course, what I'm going to tell you is my opinion and check with your doctor before um, taking any of my advice. Okay. But this symptom could occur, especially if you're not doing keto, but you're just doing fasting. So let's say you're doing a long fast over 48 hours and you do this big carbohydrate meal. Uh, you may notice uh, some body problems simply because you're going to spike insulin. And insulin moves the electrolytes from the blood inside the cell. So we get a shift of all these electrolytes, potassium, magnesium, sodium, chlorides, and phosphorus. And when we have this shift, we end up with a deficiency in the blood of these electrolytes. And you can have heart issues, you can feel dizzy, especially if when you're doing the fast, you're not taking any electrolytes. These electrolytes aren't usually stored in the body very well, except for sodium tends to be stored, but not potassium, magnesium, and these other electrolytes. So here you are doing this long fast and you're kind of deficient in the electrolytes. And as soon as you take a high carb meal, it can create this shift of even a greater deficiency in electrolytes. And that's when you start noticing uh, problems. Now there's a medical term for a longer version of this where you're basically starving or you're not eating for a long period of time and then you eat too fast. And it's called the refeeding syndrome. But that's a little bit different because you're actually starving and then you eat too much food. And this is actually dangerous. This is why they always tell you to eat a little bit of food and gradually eat more over time. But this problem can happen uh, if you're doing fasting 48 or 72 hours or obviously even longer. So number one, you want to stay on keto and don't do a high carb meal, okay? Number two, you want to take electrolytes while you're fasting and that way you won't be deficient. And also realize the longer you fast, the smaller your meal should be when you break the fast. So you would wanna break the fast with a kind of a real small meal, a keto friendly meal, and then wait a little bit and have a little bit more food, wait a little bit more and have even more food. And the reason for that is we just don't want a sudden shift of these electrolytes um, inside the cell, as well as being put into uh, stored sugar as glycogen as well. So you wanna keep your electrolytes in the blood at a certain level and not have that drop. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar. Totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.